Despite inheriting only an old guitar from her late rock star father Michael Hutchins, Holly Yates's daughter Tiger Lily has found happiness singing folk songs and surfing on the other side of the world. Tiger Lily Hutchins Geldof exudes the rock star charisma of her father, the iconic in excess frontman, with her piercing gaze and subtle smile. In addition to her captivating presence, the 26-year-old has also inherited her father's musical talent, as evidenced by her recently released debut album, Tragic Tiger's Sad Meltdown, inspired by a headline from an Australian magazine. The tongue-in-cheek title of Tiger Lily Hutchins Geldof's debut album, Tragic Tiger's Sad Meltdown, reflects her late mother Paula Yates' sense of humor, according to friends. Paula's legacy as a mother, TV presenter, friend, and lover is currently in the spotlight following the two-part Channel 4 documentary, Paula, which explores how her trailblazing but brief life affected those she loved. The documentary also examines whether the toxic mix of drugs, alcohol, and grief that killed her took its toll on her loved ones. Tiger Lily's life has not been without its challenges. She was just 16 months old when her father, the in-excess frontman Michael Hutchins, committed suicide. Three years later, her mother, consumed with grief, died from an overdose of heroin. However, having been raised by her mother's ex-husband and father of her three older children, Bob Geldof, Tiger Lily appears to be following a more peaceful and wholesome path. Now living in Hutchins's native Australia, Tiger Lily goes by the name Heavenly and enjoys surfing, meditation, and yoga in the bohemian seaside town of Fremantle. Her life is a world away from the gritty London drugs scene that claimed the lives of both her mother in 2000 and her half-sister Peaches, who also died of a heroin overdose at the age of 25 in 2014. Despite the tragedy of losing her mother at a young age, Tiger Lily found solace in Geldof's home, where she had previously stayed during Paula's struggles in the years after Hutchins's death.